Hey guys, it's Canadian Tropicana, and this is my new-ish Chromatogaster Ant Queen. I acquired her in August, and she recently just had her first Nanictic worker, Eclose. For those of you that don't know, Eclosing is basically a form of hatching. Um, sometimes the workers have cocoons. In this species, they typically don't have cocoons. Um, anyways, yep, this queen basically, um, started laying eggs a month and a half ago, and here we are. She has one worker, three pupae, I think two larvae, and a pile of smaller eggs, and some possibly smaller larvae too. You can actually see, uh, the eyes on one of those, um, pupae right there that the queen was touching. Pretty cool. So basically my thought here is I'm gonna do a little video series on this queen and her uh, colony uh, over the weeks. See how she develops, progresses. They're currently in the test tube setup, so um, they'll be in here for a while until their population gets a little bigger. Then I'll probably upgrade them to a formicarium that I uh, made, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, so. Yeah, I hope um, you guys are going to be interested in this. I know I haven't put up a video in a long time, but, you know, uh, life happens. YouTube's not really a priority for me, so uh, sometimes it just kind of... Um, gets put on the back burner for sure. You can see the little worker uh, cleaning the brood right now. Might do some feeding. Uh, the cotton, or not cotton, the uh, paper towel right there was in there because there was a lot of condensation and the brood were actually getting wet. So put that in to help absorb some of the water and the queen actually has her eggs and larvae on it sometimes too, so I don't know, it hasn't been too bad. Helped a little bit. The tube's a little bit dirty. Uh, not a big deal. There was a little bit of dirt that I tried to put in there just to help them uh, feel more secure. Because sometimes they like to line the edges of the cotton with dirt uh, just to make it more like a real colostral cell. But, uh, <clears throat> Some people recommend against that because, and I do too in a way, but uh, it can cause mold basically. So, um, not a big deal right now in this formicarium or this test tube, as it's, uh, I don't know, fairly new. Plus, I can easily transfer the queen and worker to, new, to a new tube. So, anyways, they'll probably be in here until they get to, I don't know, 50 workers, and then I'll transfer them to a formicarium that I made, so. I hope you guys, uh, like the video, um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you like, let me know how, uh, how the video was, you know. Alright guys, I'll, uh, talk to you later, have a good, uh, have a good day.